All right, with more than 80% of the vote counted, Israel's opposition leader and longest serving prime minister in the country's history, Benjamin Netanyahu, appears to have enough support to form a majority in parliament and become prime minister once again. Here with more is the national president of the Zionist Organization of America and one of the leading Jewish voices in America, Morton Klein. Mort, how are you? Uh, it's a great day for Israel, and I think it's a great day for America. I'm doing fine. Well, good. Well, I think that kind of answers part of my first question. Uh, you know, as I mentioned, you got 80 percent in. It looks like Netanyahu's party, Likud, is going to finish first, paving the way for Netanyahu to come back. So what does this mean, not just for Israel, but for the United <laughs> States uh, and its relationship with the Biden administration? Well, it means you're going to have uh, an administration in Israel now that's going to be fighting terrorism in a serious way. The pre this previous administration did not. This is good for America. We also are threatened by uh, terrorism. Uh, also, we're going to have now uh, a country, Israel, that will be uh, showing a credible, credible military threat to Iran. This will make Iran much more nervous about, uh, about moving toward nuclear weapons. Uh, and that's very important for us. Remember, Iran says death to America as well as death to Israel. So they're a hideous regime. And uh, also, it'll be much less likely to establish a terrorist dictatorship in the Palestinian Authority, because uh, Israel has made it clear, until they accept Israel as a Jewish state, which they haven't, until they stop naming schools and streets and sports teams after Jew killers and American killers, until they stop paying Arabs to murder Jews and Americans, they give lifetime pensions to Arabs to murder Jews and Americans. The more Jews and Americans someone murders, the higher their lifetime pension. Israel is making it clear. No concessions, nothing to discuss until those sorts of things uh, happen. Uh, and that's only good for the United States of America. More, I do want to ask you this because former President Trump, he came under fire recently for a post that he put on his Truth Social platform calling on American Jews to, quote, get their act together and to show more ap appreciation for Israel before it's too late, he says. What did you make of his statement? Was that offensive to you? I'm a child of Holocaust survivors, born in a displaced persons camp in Germany. I've been working uh, as an activist uh, on behalf of U.S. Israel relations now for uh, almost 30 years. Uh, President Trump told the truth. American Jews have not expressed appreciation to President Trump for being the greatest friend Israel has ever had in the White House. He, he established the Abraham Accord, that peace with the United Arab Emirates, with Bahrain, Sudan, and Somalia. He should have gotten a Nobel Peace Prize for this, but he didn't. He moved the embassy to Jerusalem from Tel Aviv, the first president to do so. Uh, even though Jerusalem is never mentioned in the Quran, uh, it is really not holy to Muslims. Mecca and Medina are their holy places. He recognized the Golan Heights, which are the hills from where Syria would launch missiles regularly against Jewish towns below. Uh, and he also signed the Taylor Forces, which said, we'll give no more money to the Palestinian Arabs. There, he was giving them $500 million until they stop paying Arabs to murder Jews. So uh, he has been an extraordinary friend to Israel, unlike any president we've ever had. Uh, and Jews have not expressed appreciation. Our Torah, our Bible says it is important to express gratitude and appreciation for good things in your life. Right. Uh, we are the only Jewish group to honor President Trump with the award, saying simply, thank you, sir, for being such a great friend uh, to your America's greatest ally, uh, Israel. So, no, he simply I, told the truth, and uh, we have no problem with what he said at all. You know, I only got about 20 seconds more, but I know you mentioned this. You guys are having the annual ZOA dinner on the 13th of November. You're going to be honoring him. Give me a quick explanation as to what, what, you're, what, what, what the honor is you're, you're giving him. Uh, we're giving him a rarely given Theodore Herzl gold medallion, only given to Lord Balfour, Winston Churchill, Harry Truman, Ben Gurion, uh, rarely given... But he deserves it as being one of the great friends uh, of Israel. It's November 13th in New York City. It'll be at Pier 60. Uh, if you go to zoa.org, zoa.org, you can see President Trump uh, and uh, Minority Leader uh, Kevin McCarthy, Alan Dershowitz, uh, Dr. Miri Adelson, uh, and many, many more. It'll be an extraordinary event. We are grateful to be able. We are grateful to be able to say to President Trump, "Thank you, sir. We appreciate everything you've done for the Jewish state and for strong U.S.-Israel relations." All right. Mort Klein, good to see you this evening. Thanks for being with us. Thank you very much. All right. Well, that is our show.